Hello and welcome to the Inside Stylist podcast. I'm Emma Morton-Turner and you're listening to episode 34, Behind the Scenes with Surface Designer Gareth Johnson. So in this episode, you're going to hear me talking to Gareth. He has so many stories from behind the scenes, um, from working in TV and working on magazines and all the things he's done to himself, like, well, I don't think we included it in the podcast, but he walked into a door and knocked himself out cold. Um, I had no idea quite how um, how many talents this guy has. It's fantastic. And I really enjoyed this podcast. He was really good fun. So I hope you enjoy it. Today's guest is a surface fabricator, set builder, designer, the whole enchilada. Um, we've worked on a shoot together, which was my first time I met you. And I'm very excited to have Gareth Johnson on the podcast today. Thank you for joining me. That's such a pleasure. Thanks. And coming all the way to Bromley. I know, yeah. Well, yeah, well, it's in and out. It's like that Southern London thing where you think, well, why can't you just go around in a circle? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it'd be so much easier. It's so much easier. <laughs> <laughs> so we met, as I just mentioned, on a shoot. We were doing a shoot for Harvey's. And um, I'm sure you have a million and one shoot, so I wouldn't expect you to remember my shoot. But it was quite a big um, set design. It was basically 10 rooms we were shooting in two days. And I've specifically planned it so we had two white rooms so that we could do shooting from the very first thing in the morning while you were whizzing around, <laughs> changing all the colours as a little team. Um, and you did like an ombre wall. And do you yeah, remember? Yeah. Uh, down across, yeah, cause up, down uh, across. Because that was that red and pink yellowy ombre. That's right. It was then... like a Mexican style. I'm, I'm going to share all the pictures on yeah. the show notes because it has to be seen. It was and was fantastic. the one where there was one with a stencil as well? Or was that something else? Uh, no, it wasn't a stencil, but there was kind of like geographic shapes and they're all kind of That's I'd right. kind of drawn what I wanted yeah, yeah, yeah. and then you freehanded it <laughs> <laughs> no tape needed no, here no no yeah no so it's quite it was quite a big ask actually and there was there was a team of you there was like three of you on the That's job right, yeah, but yeah, yeah. how did you get into set, set building fabricating surfaces Ooh, long, well, it's a long story I mean I I, I first learned how sets work and stuff like when I, I finished uh, university uh, at what art did school what did you study uh, fine art Fine uh, art. Yeah, oh. it's fine art. Um, I used to work in a place called Riverside Studios that used to house a little program called TFI Friday. Ah. Oh. And I ended up working on the bar upstairs sort of thing and got to know the art director. Do you mean working on the bar? Yeah, on the bar. Actually, the... actually, 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 in fact, yeah, there was a bit of that as well. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, so I got to know the art director and the production designer and they got to, you know, they, you yeah. know, they knew I'd studied art and stuff like that and uh, finished university and they, I think there's, there was a there was an okay there was an event that happened with with the, the Ginger the TV company, and people kept asking me what I was working behind the bar for. I'm like, well, because I, I don't work for you guys. <laughs> you just hired me out on a Friday. Yeah. And uh, well, the, the head of the props props said, well, why don't you come on on Thursday and see what we do in the props department? I was like, yeah, okay, fine. So I did that on the Thursday, did the Friday shoot, and. Uh, the uh, production designer, a guy called Marcus Blee, came up and he said, "Hey guys, what are you what are you doing? What, what, what are you doing with the props guys?" And I'm like, uh, "Well, they kind of said, you know, do you want to come and see what we do?" And he goes, "He goes, don't do that." He said, "He goes, why don't you just ask? We'd have let you come and do do the art stuff." Oh. So I, I I became a little kind of like black book project sort yeah. of thing for them. And he wasn't going to, you know, he said, well, "Yeah, we can't pay you because we don't know what you're doing," sort of thing. Yeah. And I said, "Oh, I don't know what I'm doing either. I've never done this stuff before." And uh, it got to a point where. So, what my... kind of things did they get you to do? Oh God, all kinds of stuff. There was, there was, <laughs> you know, uh, a lot of sets, painting, painting, kind of effects and stuff. And that's what, like, that's what I first started getting into it. You know, I thought I actually quite like doing this. Mm. You know? And then you had to make like daft props. Like <laughs> we had one where we were doing something from the Eurovision Song Contest of all the countries that didn't didn't get there. Yeah. So we had to make these little postcards from the country. Right. And this is way before the days of sort of like computers or anything like that. So I was up there till like eleven o'clock at night, kind of cutting and pasting these, kind of like uh, and like doing these little designs on you know making them look like proper uh, postcards yeah. from these countries. <laughs> they only got magazines or uh, like brochures from. Uh, Czechoslovakia. So all I had was pictures of Prague and I had, had to, to make them look like Italy like and everywhere. stuff. Like that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so uh, yeah, that's so uh, yeah, lots of pictures of Prague. So yeah, you, you have to do that kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah. So literally, know. whatever they needed, whatever, you, whatever, had whatever, to you, had to, you had to create sort of things. So that was like making hats out of cotton wool. You know, cotton wool <laughs> balls and stuff like that. You know, and yeah, sounds think, a bit blue Peter. Uh, well, I think one of my favourite ones was. Uh, this phone me off and said, Gas, can you come in on Wednesday? I'm like, yeah, sure, yeah, no problem at all. Because you only did Wednesday and Friday. He said, yeah, we need a bag making. 
I was like, a bag? And he goes, yeah. So he goes, it's kind of... Because uh, uh, Chris has got it in his mind that if you put a bag on the floor, a cat will go into it. So he said, we kind of want one big enough for a tiger to go into. <laughs> <laughs> so I phone, uh, you know, like again, you know, the internet was rubbish in those days. So you <laughs> go around and... Uh, Phone in all these places. I phoned up London Zoo and I said, uh, and stupidly, I got through to the big, big cat room or whatever it is, and I said, uh, yeah, I'm just phoning up to find out how big a tiger grows. <laughs> and then, yeah, uh, no, why do you want to know? I said, oh, well, I just need to put one in a bag. And I said, the minute I said that, I thought, <laughs> <laughs> so then I had to kind of quickly explain what it was. Yeah, so we took that down to Whipstay's, Whipstay's Zoo, I think it was, and then <laughs> the tiger's poked his head in, and then one of his mates came along and just tore this 10 oh, foot really? by 8 foot thing right. Where did you make it from then? Oh, it's just brown Capricorn. paper. Roll, roll, no, brown oh, paper. paper. Yeah, so it was oh, like okay. a, you know, so it looked like a slight Chinese takeaway bag yeah. sort of thing, and it was huge, you know. But that was that kind of job there, so, and that's how I got into it. Progressed up to doing production design, in like small films and stuff like that. Yeah. But yeah, I just fell out of love with it. I just fell out of love with it, and kind of had a mixed, mixed, weird few years in the wilderness, as it were. And then, yeah. Uh, I was unemployed, and uh, Sally Cullen, I, I knew her because. Her husband's a good friend of mine, mm. so that's how that's how I'm, I've known, known Sally for years. And uh, she says she goes, "Why don't you just give give some some uh, some of these guys a call, sort of thing?" So uh, first one was Tim, uh, Tim Warren, and uh, he said <laughs> it's because I knew how the film industry worked. Where it's yeah. like, yeah, you might have work, may have paid work, blah blah blah, and he's like, Ugh. you know. And he said he goes, "Well, there's nothing on at the moment," so he said, "We'll just keep calling. You know, something might crop up. You know." Uh, he asked for where I got his number from and stuff like yeah. that. So he was like, oh, yeah, I know something. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and the next day he said, he goes, I've got two days for you next week. See how you are. If it doesn't work out, that's fine. I'll pay you. And then, you know, yeah. job done. I was like, I find no problem at all. And that was four and a half years ago. Yeah. <clears throat> so is it very different doing magazines to doing like TV sets and stuff? I yeah. imagine it'd be a lot faster with magazines. but Yeah, it's a lot faster. Quick, but but it was kind of weird because I... I, I when I was doing A levels, I wanted I'd always had it in mind to do production design, and I and I found an A level course that did production design. Mm. So I was like, cool, excellent. And <laughs> I remember the lecturer was like saying to me at the end of the year, you know, he said, he said you do really nice stuff, Gareth. He said, but you, the problem is you do everything last minute. And that's just not how the world works. Uh, so, actually, yeah, I know. Yeah, <laughs> so when I actually start working, yeah, you know, I mean, I, I've, I've job done, made in heaven. Yeah, really. I've, I've done I've done TV shows where we were still painting the wall as the audience were walking in. You know, <laughs> it's like got brush streaks yeah. all over them. You know. Why don't you describe some of the techniques you do? Because you have an Instagram account called. I'm going to just look and double check that I'm going to get this right. Is yeah. it Rad Rolling or Rad Underscore Rollering? Rad Underscore Rollering. Rad yeah. Underscore yeah. Underscore Rollering. Yeah. And people can kind of go on there and have a look at all the techniques yeah. you do. And um, when we first started talking about you coming on the podcast, you had just done something. I think it was for Portland Mitchell. And you'd made this wall. This basically a piece of MDF looked like concrete. Yeah. Definitely. I quite like concrete. Yeah. So I was just a little bit like, oh. Um, but. You can do all these incredible techniques. So, do you want to talk about some of the some of the kind of designs that you can turn MDF into? Uh, yeah, well, you know, it's, it's it's a kind of observing surfaces, really, you know, mm. how they work. But then also, ha- uh, you know, you have to think how do, how does that translate with paint, really? You know, mm. how how do I get that quickly from like being a piece of MDF yeah. to a concrete wall or a marble wall? Yeah. Or you know, I think I did one. You know, we get get requests of kind of uh, can we have an eight foot by four foot marble, white marble? It's like yeah, it's not a problem. It's like yeah, because we're having real trouble getting hold of one. It's like no, 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 that you can no way. It's <laughs> <laughs> like a little two foot by three foot block of it is heavy enough. You know, it's like no, and it yeah. would snap like Kendall main cakes. Yeah. You know? uh, so yeah, you know, but it, it is it is a it is a varied thing because you know you have to you know you'll get a reference so mm. you can just kind of look at the, that reference and think right okay that's what they want and then you have to think right okay how am I going to do, do that? Do you kind of have a little practice run like? No, not normally. Normally, normally don't never, have never, time. Never, never have time. No, no. And you can look at something. So I thought you did a Tourette's so yeah, yeah, yeah. board. I think it was. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Like that, that, well, that was just me messing around on that one. Yeah. You know. Uh, I did you actually, just thought I can see the colours and I can see the the shapes of the yeah, pieces, and, and then you was, just go, I know how to do that because you have that. Background. That one, I, that one, I thought, yeah, I know how to do this really easily. Yeah. And, you know, uh, there was everyone had to be done by hand. Uh, Goodness me. Yeah, it, it was back breaking that one. I thought yeah, I'm never sure. going to do that again, and then suddenly it's on trend, and everyone's using. It. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what? When I when we did that Harvey shoot, we had the ombre wall, which was kind of very big at the time, and. 
um, I'll try and describe it. It started off at the top as yellow and at the bottom it was like as bright pink as you could get yeah. and there was all manner of colours, reds and pinks in between. And I loved it so much and I went, do you know what? I was going to wallpaper my downstairs loo. I'll show you my downstairs loo in a minute. <laughs> I thought, I'm not going to do it bright, I'm just going to do a grey ombre wall and then when I can afford a really expensive wallpaper, I'll stick that in. Oh my God, it is so hard. <laughs> yeah, it is. And I watched you doing it. And, I, and I'm quite creative. It was so hard. And it, when you see my loo later, you'll be like, no, <laughs> that's blocking, Emma. That's not on the <laughs> I tried. I got one bit of it right. And then I did the wrong colour in the wrong place. And it was like, oh. And I think I did three coats the, the, in the room. The, you know, there's, there's different ways you can do that. But the problem is when you're doing that, the easiest way to do it is with a spray can. That's the oh, easiest yeah. way to do it. But of course, you know, you, you can't really do that in a room. or room. No. Uh, but you can, but it's, you know, you everything has to be sealed. And, yeah, and it's, <laughs> it'll just get paint flowing around. Yeah, and windows. And, and... Oh, yeah, and photographers don't really like having their no. cameras covered in paint. Funny that. <laughs> I know, I know. It's like, look, I'm covered in paint. What are you worrying about? Uh, so, yeah, and then you can just do it either with a roller or a brush, you know. Uh, doing on raids with brushes, they will get knackered, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but it's really hard because you, you're kind of going in in one colour and then back on another and you you, you know you can really kind of mess it up yeah. by going yeah, backwards and forwards all the time, you know. And <laughs> they are kind of tricky when you're trying to get them done in, in like no time at yeah. all as well. It's like yeah. it's like full on concentration of like, yeah. you know, and I don't watch, I, <laughs> I watched you doing it and I watched some YouTube videos, which is probably not what I should tell you. But um I'll show you, you can have a laugh later. All right. <laughs> but so you can do all these speciality things, but you do everything basically. You can you got nails and hammers and you yeah, can bash sure. sets yeah, and yeah. things I mean, together that, that, that comes part and parcel with mm. the like, are you known job. for doing the kind of special effects yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think it for. kind of you know I think I've been working with Tim for about two months and he said if we actually started work you know we had a quite quite day in the workshop and uh he said, come on, let's go and get something to eat. He goes, I've, he goes, I've been hiring you. He said, I don't really know what your background is, sort of thing. So we had a good chat. And uh, he said, you know, is there anything you enjoy doing, sort of thing? I said, well, I used to, you know... The, the... Wait, so he, was he just getting you to do, like, painting flats and painting yeah, rooms painting and wallpapers yeah, 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 and yeah, stuff yeah, like that? Yeah. He didn't know he, you had this hidden talent? No, he didn't know. So, oh. we, so he kind of jagged it out of me. It's, you know, my backstory mm. just told, told yeah. you. So when, when, when they came in, he said, he goes, Gaz, get on that sort of thing, you know, and I was like, oh, then, you know. Testing now. Uh, yeah, and it was that kind of weird thing where I actually hadn't done it for years. So, yeah. You know, you think, oh, God, how do I do that? And it was kind of like learning, learning yeah, it all again. Yeah, you felt again. a bit rusty. Yeah, but you know. Did you get, just get in the flow of it once you were there, you were there. Yeah, I mean, it, it was a kind of thing where, you know, you, you know, things have to be done yesterday some, yeah. a lot of the time, you know, and it was that kind of thing of like, some would take about four hours to do, you know, uh, or so like six hours. You mean on you a haven't... shoot or like a flat well, in, in the workshop? A flat in the workshop sort mm. of thing, you know. And um, I think it's because I was still new doing this. You, you don't really know how it works. Now mm. I know how it works. Yeah, you know? of and, course. And you don't... I think it's... We were saying earlier before we started recording how... It, people always think working on magazines and photo shoots is really glamorous, but actually, you were saying that you've done shoots where you've painted a wall and then you've got to paint it another colour before it's even finished yeah, drying yeah, yeah, because it's so fast yeah. turnaround. Uh, yeah, it so is. So when you know, special effects come into it, it's um, a whole different ball game. It, it is, you know, and they do. They can add time. You know, I never stop looking at what a brush does mm. or a roller does. Yeah. Uh, you know, if you add water, I mean, I, there's, there's a little effect I do where it's just so quick but that mm. happened because I I was cleaning out a brush and I went ah oh, but it's that yeah. making that connection as to like what that looks like yeah does that look like can I evolve that and change that to like make it look like that yeah and, and yeah, do you, you know. use like regular emulsion paints or yeah, do you yeah. use special but acrylics and things for some techniques uh not really no because you know it's it's it's, it's on a it's on a it's never going to be used for anything else other than yeah. other than being yeah, so in, a, in an matter. image. So it doesn't yeah. really matter what you use, sort of thing. You yeah. Know, it's, uh, or then you get the old oil, and you go, ah, why did I not spot that that was oil? <laughs> <You know? laughs> oh yeah, yeah nightmare. You know. you know, every reference is always going to be different. Mm. So there's always going to be something. When you say different. reference, you mean what you want, people right, send yeah, you a but, picture yeah, of what you know, they want. They say, well, yeah. I, need, I need this plaster wall, yeah. but not in that colour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, so you have to kind of trans, and that's 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 a hard hard thing as well where they'll have a colour scheme in mind, mm. but then it doesn't really make a difference because when you're asking for a plaster wall, you can have, there's so many different tones and layers in there. You yeah. can get a general a kind of colour that, that you want, but then you have to have kind of an ups and down, up and mm. down sort of things of like light and dark yeah. uh, to give it that effect of what, what, what's required sort of thing. But, so they're never, they're never the same. 
you know. Mm. You know, you know uh, I mean, plaster walls can be plaster walls, but there will always be weird little differences in them mm. that you kind of think, right? Okay, well, how do I how do I then do that? On yeah, the so and get that kind get of that, that effect. That, yeah. yeah. You mentioned workshops um, <clears throat> earlier, and I know that you've worked in Tim's workshop. Do you yeah. have a workshop? No, I don't have a workshop. No, no, no. Tim Warren is a set builder. He was one of the first set builders I met when I started doing this. And he kind of has become quite a go-to guy. And he will, if he gets asked to do a big job, he then gets extra people in to yeah, do yeah, special. Yeah, and yeah. then you get would get hired to do like a speciality thing. Yeah, yeah. And then if you have time and you need to do something in advance, you go to work in his workshop. That's right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah so, so kind of what's the setup like in the workshop? Cramp. Well, not cramp, <laughs> but it, 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 no, so, you know, it's, it's, uh, it is one of those things where you think, how did that get? Ha- how did that happen? Mm. How did that get made? Sort of thing. You know? Yeah. Sometimes when there's like six of us in there, and there's like, you know, plants being built, and there's like, uh, you know, backdrops being painted and stuff like that, and everyone's kind of like poking each other with a is pole. It good or, fun? Is it quite yeah, a nice, yeah, nice tight knit yeah. group? Everyone yeah, knows each other because you work yeah. on the same sort of shoots. You quite often yeah, the same but it's, but it's kind of weird as well, whereby you know, I won't see some of them for like a month or two months, yeah. sort of thing, because you you know you never the twain meet, yeah. sort of thing. You know, because obviously you get booked separately to Tim needing an extra pair of hands yeah, or exactly, a speciality yeah. Yeah. terrazzo wall or something. Yeah, exactly, yeah. 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 So it's 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 always that kind of weird thing where, you're, you know, ships in the night sort of thing. Yeah. You know? Sometimes it all, we're all... It's usually on a Friday where everyone's com, coming home to roof. Yeah. Do you know, <laughs> uh, uh, the, the beers the va- come out? The va- yeah, yeah, maybe, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Should that be... I can just imagine a group of set builders. There should be a night, <laughs> was it a gaggle of geese? Or I don't know, yeah. One of set builders all having their beer on a Friday I night. I don't know, what will be a collective of set builders? I don't know. <laughs> Probably not something I should say out loud. <laughs> thing you've ever had to make, other than a bag for a tiger. Other oh, than a bag for a tiger. Oh gosh. Uh, I think probably most of them would would have to go back to Today. tier five, tier five, tier five, five, five. where ha- having to make kind of these <laughs> these gold statues like Oscars. Yeah. That we made out of uh, Bob Ken from Barbie and Ken sort of thing. <laughs> Sprayed them gold and. The, the rubber just didn't take it, take to any paint and no matter what we threw at it oh, it was no. you know so we were guilt in them yeah. and all sorts and uh, <laughs> they were having, having to have be handed to uh, was it David Soul and Paul Michael Glazer <laughs> so you know, and Hutch yeah. and uh, <laughs> walking out with bits of glitter gold and gold all over oh, them no. yeah it's like, <laughs> it's like just look don't touch yeah, but, you yeah, take yeah, them home later yeah well, unfortunately they had to be handed to them yeah. sort of thing, you know, so, but, but yeah there was you you just found yourself in slight strange situations sometimes, yeah. you know. It's uh, it's a bit like you know it is like this job, but obviously, you know, you get asked to do odd things. Mm. But then it's a lot more problem solving a lot yeah. of the time. It's, and sometimes if you actually stepped away from the actual shot that you've got and mm. cropped, how that shot gets created is like sometimes even more yeah. more interesting than the shot itself. Yeah. Sometimes. When I'm shooting, I always try and stand back and take a picture of the photographer taking the shot mm. because actually the craziness that goes on behind it. Yeah. I think it, I know I always mean to post it to Instagram, but then by the time it comes out four months later, you've kind of forgotten that you forgotten even took that, that picture. That done, yeah. But yeah. those behind the scenes shots, I, I must remember to do that a bit more often because that is it's that whole you can just see the effect of the photographer making this scene look all snowy. Yeah. But actually, there's just piles of crap everywhere. Yeah. And, you know, you've and got, you're you've... squeezed into a tiny space, there's no line. <clears throat> when I interviewed Stylist, I always, I, was, I always asked them about a disaster that's happened, which I'm going to ask you in a minute. <laughs> but the amount of times it's the courier broke down or this wasn't delivered or I wanted a red sofa and they needed a green sofa. And you have to be on the spot thinking, right, who do I know? How can I get so... It is literally... It's logistics and problem solving. Yeah, I think, I, th- I think it is sometimes as well. And I think you get asked a lot. You get asked to do a lot of things. You think, uh, How am I going to do you, that? Usually, it's, usually the question will be, uh, Gareth, do you have... I'm like, I was just going to say that. <laughs> I'm, I'm known for saying, do you have <laughs> a pink stapler with a knife and a hammer, yeah, the yeah, random it, it things is, that you need to It is that kind of thing where you yeah, I just have to kind of see what I can do and yeah. make sure it works, you know, so, you know, that's that's always that's always a nice thing. And sometimes you kind of pat yourself on the back of uh, working, on a, yeah. working on a shoot and uh, they have to have, because uh, there's always that thing where you have light, you know, where the... That, that, yeah. That, you know, so you can't put anything in there to hold no. something up because yeah. you're, you're going to have this big yeah, bar coming, in the ac- yeah, big shadow coming across. Uh, thinking, well, how am I going to get that eight foot 
aluminium pole <laughs> over a kitchen surface. Uh, From nine foot away. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I can't do that because that will hold that. So you just kind of think, right, what do I have? Mm. What do I have that I can work with? You know, um, thankfully in the ca- cabinets, there was a gaff that was just in, big enough to squeeze a bit of th- three by one in there. So I could pop that in, a little little arm coming down, and then drilled the hole, pop the rod in there, and then made little ones the same length all the mm. way down. Uh, and thankfully, the house location house had uh, the same color paint, so painted it all out. So it just didn't. It looked like wow. it was part of the part of the. Uh, That's another thing is when you're in someone's actual house, if it's a location house, not a like a studio or a, or a, like a, a bigger venue. Yeah. It's that whole. How do you do these things without? people getting upset i mean they know you're coming in and they're gonna you're gonna be painting but there can but be that, a that, yeah that, that's that's they? the trick is like how do you how do you make something that's not going to affect mm. you know yeah a lot of the time you know it's just like you can drill holes in more than yeah and then, in it it and, then, and then paint it afterwards yeah, yeah. you know it's it's you know most of the play they're pretty forgiving sort of thing now because i think that goes with the with the territory yeah, so yeah. You know, i think nine times out of ten people get it it's that one person who doesn't. And it's like standing over you going, what are you doing with that drill? Yeah. Like, you didn't tell me you were going to be painting it black. It's like, yeah. it will be white by the end yeah. of the day, don't worry. Yeah, that's 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 always the issue as well, the uh, the uh, odd coloured mm. paint back mm. colours. Yeah. That only come from one shop in, yeah. in London. Yeah, there's quite a lot of that, actually. It's never white or brilliant white. It's always yeah. midnight white, the sh- a shade is, of is green it, or it, something. Benjamin Moore? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was in it. I was, uh, you know job a couple of weeks ago and uh, we didn't have any of the Benjamin Moore we couldn't then, mm. you know we weren't supplied with the paint back colours so we found out what they were and it's like well, where do we get Benjamin Moore from mm. so there I am in Stratford I'm to I was going to say all you were in London were you yeah uh, in Stratford and I'm to drive oh, all right. the way over to so like, you know Fulham mm. to get this one pot of paint from this one shop that it's sold in in the Benjamin Moore shop and it's yeah oh, it's tricky four hours, four hours out of my day oh my god <laughs> Sat, yeah because you, you know you got yeah, then you go into overtime. And... Uh, yeah, and it's and it's and it's just that kind of, you know, you're driving through London, and you know, you think of, you know, everyone's used to driving in London, yeah. but right now you've got like you can't go through the high tunnel if you're in a commercial van. Oh right. No, you know, and they've got, you know, you can't can't get in through the congestion zone, and then you know, so you've yeah, got one so bridge to go over, you know, and then it's, it's just, ah. <laughs> you know, I should be painting wall. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what? Something just popped into my head is that um, when I've been on a shoot and I've got to a point where I've done all my stuff and all my props are packed up but the set guys are still painting back do you like people to stay and wait or do you, do you want them to leave like stylists and the PRs and the clients and that do you think someone should stay behind <clears throat> uh, yeah I think so so that they're happy and they yeah. know what the rooms look like yeah because in, in, who should do that the uh, client or the stylist you can say whoever you want <laughs> I would pro- yeah I'd probably say the well, maybe the maybe the stylist because yeah. in the end, at the end of the day, it's like you, it's it's, it's, down it's, a, it's to a stylist show shows, yeah. you know what I mean? And, yeah, and that's 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 your running of it. But then sometimes you know it's like, is it a kind of compliment where when they do go because they know they trust you can do, mm. do you're not going to say right, just go and let's go, yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah, you're right. Here, you know? Yeah, uh, it's a trust game, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> What's your favourite thing to work on? My favourite thing to work on. Ooh. Do you like being challenged with new textures and new yeah, surfaces? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's all, that's, so that, when Tourette's came in, we were like, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you could see yeah. anything. Right, okay, yeah, I can, I can try something new. Yeah. You know, not that marble gets boring or anything yeah. like that. You know, but, you do a lot of marble then. Yeah, but then it's kind of weird because last year I did a lot of marble. I haven't done any this year. Yeah. You know, uh, so plaster's always always a popular. Mm. One, you know, uh, and concrete. I was saying Plast- concrete. Plast- Plast- concrete. Plaster and concrete. Yeah. I did a few. So I, I, I like doing metallic stuff as well because mm. uh, they're usually quite textural and I like the, like working with, with the textures that you mm. can do sort of thing and again it's that kind of like right how do I get that reference yeah. onto a piece, piece of yeah. MDF or something like that you know uh, what's, yeah, the, the, what's the worst thing to work on? Uh, wallpapering really? I can't wallpaper to save my life really? <laughs> <laughs> I love wallpaper. I'm rubbish. That's why I paint them all. Is it? But you paint. Why would anyone need? No, to because do I just make that basic hair of like cut the paper, cut the paper, cut the paper. Like, oh no, there's a repeating pattern, isn't there? <laughs> Every time. Yeah. It's like, do, you, do you mind if I kind of like just make sure it fits? <laughs> I have to cut bits <laughs> off here and there. <laughs> it you know, I bet you can probably hide it as well. If there's a, uh, a join, I bet no one would even know that. Uh, no, I'm. I'm t- I, it is. It is one of the things that uh, mm. I, I hate the most. Oh, yeah. yeah. 
Tell me about a disaster. I bet you've seen loads of disasters on shoots. Oh, probably. Uh, but again, they just kind of... It, sometimes they kind of think, let's just forget that one, shall we? <laughs> I will, it's just between you and me. No one else will hear about it. Yeah. <laughs> I hate ladders. Really? I, I really hate ladders. You don't, do you have a fear of heights or you just find that there are there cl- too many accidents <clears throat> have happened on them? Do you know what? I can climb a tree no problem at yeah. all. You know, that, it could be a 6,400 foot tree and I'd be scaling up to the top of yeah. it. Put me on a five foot ladder? No, I hate them. Because they wobble? I think it's because they're man-made. You know, it's like yeah, you're, having to put some, you're having to put some trust into somebody else yeah. and they've done a decent job, you know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I hate, I, I, I hate ladders. Yeah, that's a bit of an occupational hazard, I should imagine. It, it, it is, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they kind of go with the territory, sort of thing, so it's like, mm. Oh, yeah, because I think I got, I got an electric shock from one. <gasps> yeah, it was like putting the light lamps, light oh lights back God, together. Oh, my God, you're on again. a metal ladder as well. Yeah, it was a metal one as well. That was, that was not a nice experience. You know, it's like, turn the lights off, and it's like someone came in, flipped <gasps> the light on, and I'm like, no! God, that's the kind of thing I would do. Yeah. That's exactly the kind of thing I would do. Yeah. Turn the light on and not think, yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah I won't it. do that ever again. <laughs> If you see someone in the middle of the room yeah. doing that, don't, don't turn the light leave the room. Yeah. Just leave them in the dark. Yeah. I think I painted the wrong room once. Which, the whole room. Yeah, that was oh. the wrong room. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, oh, well, I thought, I'm sure they told me so. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. interesting because when we were doing the shoot, that, that 10 room shoot, um, I had it all printed out and I literally went around and, and was it, I think it was you said, let's stick the... Um, pictures on the right walls so we knew exactly what was happening where yeah, yeah, and that yeah, was really was close so, yeah, so everyone knew what everyone was happening knew where it was, yeah. so what happened you had to paint it back and then do another room to back but then you've got the pro- you've got the problem as well you just used all the paint <laughs> God, yeah <laughs> you know uh, I think that was back in my early days sort of thing you know yeah, yeah but, did yeah. you do that once and never again do you double yeah, check double three check, times yeah yeah you yeah. double check yeah. it's a bit like fabric but it's, you it's, measure twice cut yeah. once but it's also that kind of thing where you know you just become more confident and yeah, you, you know, I think that's that kind of working relationship you get with certain stylists and stuff like that. You know, I mean, I, 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 I kind of know who I'm going to be working with, mm. you know, so you, you kind of develop a kind of, uh, I don't know, a telepathy sometimes. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's yeah. a weird... Yeah, you, know you know how each other ticks. And you yeah, well it's, 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 a, it's a strange one, you know, uh, where you can just know what they're thinking. Mm. But then with others, you kind of like... What are you thinking? I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. You know, uh, you never say that. You know, no, it's, uh, of not. but it is that kind of thing where you just you, you click with certain mm. stylists. You know, and, and there that's always fun. And also, that's not just stylists as well, because the photographers play a massive part yeah. in it as well. Obviously, obviously, it's, no, yeah. they're, and they're not just taking a picture sort of thing. Sometimes no, it's a team, isn't it? Yeah, and they'll say, to, you know, it's like Gareth, can you just kind of do that for me? It's mm. like, yeah, that's not a problem. And Again, it's that problem solving where you think, well, okay, that's that. I, I enjoy that kind of mm. like, prompt, yeah. You know, how do I get that to that? You know? Yeah, I think that's how people get rebooked really as well. Is when you work well and, and or you meet someone for the first time and then you get asked, oh, do you know a set builder or a photographer or a stylist? Everyone's like, oh, I worked with that person. They were great. Let's put them forward. It's that whole. Yeah, I'm sure that's how it. You know, yeah. That is how it works. It's a quite an incestuous business, but everyone gets on quite well. But I know what you mean. When you click with someone, you're like, oh, I have got to shoot with you again. That was yeah. brilliant fun. And it yeah, it's like work, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, you get, you know, and it's kind of weird where it goes through phases where you work with some people a lot, and then mm. you, you know, you sort of then you don't work with them. You don't see them for ages, sort of thing. And yeah, you, and then know. when you do, it's like, oh, yeah, catch and, up. And, and you know exactly what you're going to expect from certain stylists yeah. as well. It's like so it's, there's ones where you think, oh, okay, spray cans, Christmas. I know we are working with, <laughs> you know, it's like, you know, uh, but yeah, the, some of the some of the people I've worked with, uh, you know, you, I, remember, I remember Tim phoning up, going, right, okay, we've got someone on the phone. Just just phone me up about doing putting. He goes, I think they've gone mad. <laughs> He said they want. They said you can put silicon adhesive into paint. I said, oh yeah, yeah, that's not a problem. I know, yeah, I know exactly how you do that. That that that. What, what does that do? What that's for? Well, it kind of like spreads it out really nicely. It, it, it but it makes it really, really textural Ooh. and really has such a, quite a lot of body to it. So I was doing that with uh, stenciled kind of letters and stuff. So mm. that was dragged over, and then the letters were pulled off, and yeah, it looked quite, quite cool. Yeah. Was, one thing I did where it's actual. Uh, concrete I used mm. to sort of get sort of depth and you know because they were it was they were doing uh, close ups of food so that you have to have that kind yeah. of uh, difference you know you can you can have it painted but it would still look painted yeah. so, so you have to sometimes sometimes go with the real thing mm. 
Which is a real concrete. That's why we have to guess which one it is. So <laughs> no one's ever got it right. Yet, we could do so. a competition, couldn't we? Yeah, guess no. the real concrete. Guess the real concrete. Yeah, yeah. You know, what, well, is a rad roller an actual thing then? Yeah, it's a radiator roller. Yeah. Oh. Called rad so that's where your name came from. Yeah, rad but it's kind of like a rad roll ring as well, which is kind of like rad as in cool sort yeah. of thing. So yeah. Yeah. So you know, I use paintbrushes, but most of the time I'm using a, a radiator roller. Right. Oh, I didn't you know. realize that. Yeah, was yeah, Because yeah. you, you just cool. get it done because it works so much more quickly. So um, when people request something from you, like stylists and clients and things, there's, we were talking earlier about how quite often they'll send you a picture and it's tiny and pixelated and you can't really see it. Yeah. But is there a, a kind of a practice that people could do that, like, yeah. how, can they, how can they help your, make your job easier? What's the best way of... Google you know, image search. Good Google image search. Yeah, just go to a Google image search. Yeah, uh, send you a link. You can either upload the picture... Right. And just oh. go and pick the largest one. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. as simple as that. And then that's all you need, a yeah. really good image. Really good image, yeah. yeah. Because then sometimes you're, you're kind of like... Ugh. Okay, yeah. that's good. Right, anyone listening and they want some good stuff, send big pictures. Yes, big pictures, bigger the better. Yeah. Something else we were talking about earlier is that um, you're thinking about doing some backdrops that you're going to hire out. Yeah I'm, thinking of doing, yeah, I'm thinking of doing that. I think it's more... I think I prefer to do more 